What's up guys? These are the Rockville RTP 32W totem stands and I'm going to talk to you guys about that. What's up guys? DJ Mike James coming at you again with another video. Uh, you know, I've been talking to a lot of you guys as far as like sort of cleaning up my setup. I mean, I take sometimes, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily need to these weddings and events. And uh, I, I see the trend has gone to, you know, totems and uplights, things along those lines. And of course, I'm going to be right there with them just like everybody else. And I just got, I just picked these up. These are the uh, Rockville RTP 32Ws and Ws is because they're white. Uh, they do come with their scrims, base plates. All of that stuff, we can run our wiring through the backs of them. Uh, they, they are height adjustable, and I'm going to pull my scrim down here so you guys can take a look. We do have a we do have a S6 in there uplighting this. And I've got a black scrim on this one just so you can guys see exactly what that is. These come in carrying bags. Um, they're height adjustable, which is awesome. They've got this, this sweet technology where we can just pull these pins out, move this up or I can move them down to another two settings where it almost be 39 inches tall, or it goes up to like 69 inches, which is, yeah, just a hair under, just like nine inches over, over five foot. So these are super awesome. They're gonna be a regular staple as far as what I'm gonna start using for my basic wedding packages. So I'll have two totems with movers on them. Of course, I'm using my U-King 70 watt uh, mini moving head gobo lights, which I love these lights. I just did a video with you guys about how I have mine programmed in this sense. I'm only using two of them and I do have them, one of them reverse pan tilt for me so that they're going to do the opposite things and it is set on sound active. Uh, if you can leave them in show two, it tends to keep the lights out there a little bit more. Um, I'm super excited about these. They're really transportable, like I said, as far as like taking a solid six foot stick of, of regular trussing, this one will collapse down, fits in a bag, it all comes together, and you just carry it in, so pop them up, throw your scrims on, and you're good to go. Um, one thing you know, like I didn't get to cover in my video about the mini movie heads is these don't necessarily have a totem mode in them. And, uh, you know, a lot of lights are, are, are like that, especially the moving heads. I mean, I wish it would kind of become standard that, uh, that the, the manufacturers of these, uh, of these lights would understand that when you are using them on a totem, having that totem mode, especially if you're going to run them in sound active or you're going to run them DMX off each other and not off of a controller. If you are using them off a DMX controller, you're going to have a ton more luck because you're going to be able to control every single aspect of the pan until you'll be able to spotlight them in, including these as well. You'll be able to spotlight them in, so on and so forth. But when we get into dance mode and stuff like that, which is what we're really all kind of you know looking forward to, like you know, as we transition through the wedding reception process, you know, I want these lights to stay out in the crowd, on the, the ceiling. I don't necessarily want them hitting people in the face and, and you know so much but I do want the dance lighting out there. So uh, these totems I think are gonna be an awesome, you know, addition for my setup, for my wedding setup. And of course, I can match these with my with my scrims on my Pro X, XF, uh, MK2 Mesa DJ facade that I use. I love that table. Um, I, I got matching scrims, I can match it all up, uplight everything the same. And I'll get be getting some pictures of that set up here coming up soon, I've got, I'm going back to back to back weddings for the next three weekends and a huge wedding coming up in October. Um, so these are worth checking out. Like I said, if you're looking into getting into totems, now, so the price point on these is about 200 bucks a piece. Now keep in mind with that, you get a black and a white scrim, you get a base plate and you get your top plate and these things will collapse down. They're super portable. They're easy to use. Now we just looked it up, so if you want to get a stick of trussing, say it's six foot, I mean that's going to be rigid six foot, uh, a base plate and a top plate, you're going to be looking at, you know, $650 possibly for that base plate, a top plate, and everything else that goes with it, no screaming, no any of that stuff that comes like along with this. Now of course, the trussing sticks are, you could build upon them. Um, you know, and also they have multiple uses in the sense that you can, you know, have your trussing up 
you fly your truss in, you can use it as your DJ booth, you know, however you want to actually use all those sticks of trust me, a lot of guys are doing that and those setups look awesome. Uh, for me, I love my DJ booth the way that it is, so I'm going to keep that, but uh, I'm going to use these adjustables so that even if I do get another set and I can have these sitting at two different levels and still have all four of my moving head gobos out there on the dance floor. So I mean, just something to really look into. Like I said, I'm going to upgrade to these. I already, um, you know, these will be at my next wedding. They'll be uplit. I'll decide the height of them. Like I said, they will go up a little bit higher. Pull this out, stand on it. I'll bring these up to max height. And that's it at max height. And as you can see, I'm just under, you know, just a hair under six foot tall. And it's, uh, this is a uh, 68 and a half inches or 69 inches, something like that, which is actually pretty decent. So I kind of like that height. And then I can also have these staggered. If I get another set, I can build these in multiple levels and have that, uh, you know, my moving heads out there. And uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys that on my next video. So check them out, the Rockville RTP 32W whites. I like the white ones just because it does kind of match with everything else that we do, even though my trussing and all that is is black, but I won't be using the trussing. I'll be using these with, with my mini movie head gobos on them and up lighting around the room. So uh, yeah, check those out. As always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass.